In this video, we're going to run through the responsibilities and required activities of an InfoShare organization administrator. The purpose of this video is to help you identify who in your organization would be an appropriate organization administrator and what they need to know before starting the role. Before we start, we'll quickly look over the two roles on InfoShare, users and organization administrators. Users are content editors. They can add, edit and delete records in InfoShare through either the data entry dashboard or file upload option. Organization administrators will also be able to add, edit and delete records, but they are additionally responsible for establishing their organization in InfoShare and ensuring data submissions are accurate and timely. As a consequence, users and organization administrators will have different views and privileges on InfoShare. This video will only be running through the responsibilities and activities of the organization administrator. An organization administrator is responsible for establishing their organization in InfoShare and ensuring data submissions are accurate and timely. When nominating organization administrators, please keep in mind the provider's obligations under Section 12 of the Privacy and Personal Information Protection Act. Your organization must take reasonable steps to ensure the data is protected by taking such security safeguards as are responsible in the circumstances against lost, unauthorized access, use, modification, or disclosure, and against all other misuse. DCJ recommends that each organization has at least two organization administrators to ensure someone is always on hand to lead the various functions in case of leave or turnover. In addition to ensuring that all staff have valid working with children checks, organization administrators are also accountable for managing organization data. Organization administrators must keep their organization up to date in InfoShare. This includes adding and removing users and outlets, as well as actively managing any changes in their access levels or details. Ensuring quality. Organization administrators are responsible for the accuracy and consistency of the data their organization submits to InfoShare. Submitting regularly. Organization administrators are responsible for ensuring that all data is submitted ahead of any deadlines communicated by DCJ. Training users. Organization administrators should ensure users are trained in how to input and upload data into InfoShare and where to access any self-service materials to help with their training. Being the point of contact. Organization administrators are their organization's touch point with DCJ regarding any matters relating to InfoShare. To fulfill their responsibilities, there are a series of activities that organization administrators are expected to complete. In managing organization data, Organization administrators are required to initially set up their organization in InfoShare and to actively manage user and outlet data. Organization administrators are expected to obtain access to InfoShare, add, edit, and delete users, including managing their access levels, add, edit, and delete outlets, and attach activities that their organization provides. InfoShare has a reporting tool that can be used to see the quality of the data in the system and remediate any outstanding data quality issues. To validate the quality of data submitted to InfoShare, organization administrators are required to access and interpret these data quality reports and edit data if there are any errors or inconsistencies in their organization's submission. Organization administrators should regularly check InfoShare announcements to see when the next submission date is and communicate this information with their organization. There are a range of materials available to organization administrators to assist with training users. InfoShare Instruct is a self-service platform for users to access materials on how to upload and submit data to InfoShare. InfoShare Instruct contains user guides, fact sheets, and training videos about the InfoShare system and how to complete common activities. It also features an interactive training environment where users can practice using InfoShare without entering any real client data. Organization administrators are encouraged to use these materials to assist with training users or to direct users to consume these materials directly. It is important organization administrators ensure their organization's users channel any InfoShare related feedback or questions through to them 
to relay to DCJ, as well as share communications from DCJ to the users and other appropriate people within their organisation. Likewise, DCJ will communicate with InfoShare administrators via InfoShare bulk emails and also individually for organisation specific InfoShare requests or queries. With all of that in mind, you should now have a good idea about who would be an appropriate organisation administrator for your organisation. The organisation administrator should feel confident assuming the various responsibilities and be comfortable using and teaching others how to use InfoShare.